back to the rundown, and as we've been reporting, the protests against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Israel are continuing despite lockdown restrictions. Uh, correspondent Emily Rose is at one on the streets there in Rothschild Avenue in Tel Aviv. Also joining us is our defense correspondent Daniel Semach, who just happens to live right above that area, uh, and he's there with a bird's eye view. Let's start with a shot on the ground there. Emily, what is the situation? Looks like one of the biggest protests we've seen here in Tel Aviv despite these restrictions. <laughs> Yes, Kalev, I'm just going to show you what's happening behind me. You can see here that the protesters have been contained to this area here on Rothschild Boulevard. As you mentioned, it's a main boulevard in Tel Aviv. You can see that they're actually blocking traffic, both foot traffic, which is intended for the center of the boulevard and the street itself. Now, you can see here that the police have actually contained these protesters to this area. They're trying to move, go back and forth further along the boulevard, but they aren't allowed to do so because of these border police who have been deployed to stand here and make sure they don't go any further into any of the other side streets that are connected to this boulevard. You can see they're standing here making a human chain, and they're making sure that these protesters don't continue even further north or south down the boulevard. They're contained into this area. Now, earlier today, these protesters started at a central square called Abima Square, and then they collectively gathered. They didn't say when they were going to do this, but simultaneously and spontaneously, they all gathered together and started walking down this boulevard. They tried to move even further, were met with a few clashes with police who did a little bit of pushing and shoving, but then managed to contain them into this area with these human chains that you just saw now. And it doesn't look like they're going anywhere for now. All right. Well, let's go to our Daniel Tsemach, who's above Rothschild. Uh, uh, Boulevard there, as I said, kind of like a bird's eye view. What are you seeing and hearing from that vantage point, Daniel? Well, Kaleva, as you mentioned, uh, just a little bit outside of the area of Rothschild Boulevard, but uh, the protesters have gotten a little bit outside, or did earlier on in the night, uh, started making their way towards where the main protest was. That is to say that we've, again, been seeing the smaller groups scattered uh, throughout the cities like Tel Aviv, and then joining in to the really the big scene, which is, of course, where Emily is on the ground, just around five minutes from where I am. And you can certainly hear not only only uh, chance and things like that in, in a very far distance, but also uh, the increased activity of Israeli police in the area as they are trying to contain this protest. And that's been part of the challenge, Kalev, for the Israeli police is the fact that a lot of these protests start out in a sort of scattered fashion. People are allowed to be a thousand meters from their home, so they can begin the protest a thousand meters from their home uh, within that that range, and then make their way to a sort of a center for everyone. And that's kind of what we're seeing tonight. The night started with maybe smaller protests that are all really now centered to where Emily Rose is currently standing. Right. Now, Emily, we see protesters wearing masks, but from here it looks like they are violating uh, restrictions on social distancing. Uh, are, the, are, are the police, do you, does it feel as if potentially the police might try to disperse that crowd? How will protesters react if that happens? Well, Kalev, earlier we saw that the protesters were actually being told to disperse by the police who were using a megaphone to try to tell these protesters to move aside. And they didn't listen. They didn't go home as they were told to do. So now you can see they've just made this human chain. And I'll show you a little bit about what's happening behind me here. They've lined up. They're stopping these people from moving, from going any further. And they've made this chain so they don't go further down the boulevard. Now, this is quite unique because these are not particularly, especially civilian police. They're border police. And they've been deployed here to keep control of the crowd. That's exactly what they're doing. Earlier, if you looked at the crowd, did you see a lot of mask wearing? Did you see a lot of social distancing? Well, it was kind of half-half. There were a lot of people really wearing masks over their nose and their mouth, which is how they're supposed to wear it, but there were also a lot of people who were not. And they weren't social distancing. It's a big crowd. They're contained to this area. So they're not able to really social distance from one another. They don't seem to care. They're gathered here on Rothschild, and they're making sure that their presence is known and heard here, even though the police told them to disperse, even though they were told to go home, even though this contradicts the coronavirus restrictions. They're saying that they're staying here, and they're not going home, at least for now. All right, Emily Rose there on Rothschild Boulevard, uh, Tel Aviv, and our Daniel Semach, who's above the area. Uh,